that. I, I disagree. There is actually support for Ukraine. There is bipartisan support in the House. I, I hear what you're saying about Mitch McConnell staying until the end of the year, but with respect to Ukraine, does the president support an extension of the current continuing resolutions to later in March to give negotiators time to come to an agreement and avoid a government shutdown? So I just got a, a version of that question. And look, I think we were very clear that all four, uh, the big four that were here meeting with the president and the vice president were very clear yesterday the importance of continu continuing to making sure or keeping the government open and not shutting down. The clock is ticking. And they all agreed that we have to keep uh, the government open. They have to do that, right? And so as it relates to the process and how they're going to do that, I'm going to let the negotiators and uh, congressional members uh, deal with that. They can figure that out. But but it is important. It is important that we keep the government open. And I hear what you're saying about Mitch McConnell staying until the end of the year. But with respect to Ukraine aid, based on his comments today, are you concerned that there just isn't support for Ukraine aid among many Republicans in Congress, I, and that there and that there won't be that they won't be able to get the votes? Well, for that? I, I disagree. There is actually support for Ukraine. There is bipartisan support in the House. I mean, they got it certainly from the Senate, right? They passed 70 to 29, a national security supplemental that include that included aid to Ukraine. They just did that. Now we want to see that go to the floor of the House. And we have heard from Republicans who have said that if it came to the floor, they would vote for it. So that's what we want to see. So we actually believe their support uh, in, in the in, with House Republicans, obviously with Democrats, to move uh, that really all-important national security supplemental that is needed uh, for uh, not just for Ukraine and obviously Israel and, and Indo-Pacific and what we need to do there and getting that humanitarian aid, obviously, uh, to uh, folks, innocent Palestinians who need it in Gaza, but also for our own national security. It is important that we get done. I talked about this yesterday. During the Big Four meeting, we had the CIA director that was in that meeting that laid out the dire consequences and what we have seen in Ukraine as they have lost, uh, you know, they have lost ground on the battlefield. And it is because of congressional inaction. They laid that out for them. Uh, and so, and so look, the CIA director was clear in that meeting. We have been clear and they all agreed. They all agreed. All four agreed that we needed to move forward on this. Well, I, I disagree. There is actually support for Ukraine. There is bipartisan support in the House, keeping the government open and not shutting down. The clock is ticking, and they all agreed that a national security supplemental that include that included aid to Ukraine. They just did. Later in March, to give negotiators time to come to an agreement and avoid Ukraine aid. Based on his comments today, are you concerned that there just isn't support for Ukraine aid? With House Republicans, obviously with Democrats, to move uh, that really all important national. I hear what you're saying about Mitch McConnell staying until the end of the year, but with respect to Ukraine. I think we were very clear that all four, uh, the big four that were here meeting with the president. Among many Republicans in Congress, I, and, that there, and that there won't be, that they won't be able to get the vote. We want to see. So we actually believe their support uh, in in. The, in, in, and how they're going to do that. I'm going to let the negotiators and uh, congressional members uh, deal with that. I mean, they got it certainly from the Senate, right? They passed 70 to 29.